Hello again. Now today I'm dealing with the problem I've got with the chainsaw. It's the um, Timberwolf 18 inch chainsaw. Um, and the problem I've got is it's not cutting. Symptoms. Nice new blade. Good and sharp. Plenty of fuel, plenty of oil, everything set up correctly. As I'm cutting into the tree, it goes an inch in and then stops. Release it, it stops. Release it, it stops. It's like it's got no power anymore. Cause clutch is gone. Here's the clutch. It's worn, it's not gripping anymore, therefore it just keeps slipping. Okay, so we need to replace that. Not a difficult process. First thing we do is as though we're going to change a blade. We take off. And there's a brake handle, and there's a blade guard. I've already taken the blade off of this, um, ready to change it, but there's the, the rail. So, blade would have been taken off if you'd have had it on there. And look at that, very slack, very slack. Now, what you see is that in there is the clutch that I want to replace. And you'll see, there we are, a nice match. Okay, so we've got to get that out. Now to take these off, they're always clockwise undo. It's a reverse place, basically. So clockwise to undo, anti-clockwise to tighten it. Right, first action. Remove the top cover to get to the spark plug. Now to get to this spark plug, you're going to have to... Uh, Remove the air filter as well. That's no problem. It gives you the opportunity to give that a clean as well at the same time. It's probably like mine, it needs it. And there we are, disgustingly filthy air filter. Okay, take off the bar plug. Right. Yes, that was extremely tight, that. Now, you'll get this key with the, the tool. One side does these nuts, the other side does the spark plug and a screwdriver for adjusting the chain and for various other things. So I take the spark plug off. Right, I'm moving the piston down as low as I can and what you need is get some cord this is um, pull cord starter cord for replacing these in various tools you get some of this because it's reasonably thick and reasonably strong and you just want to hold over and shove it inside of the spark plug hole That's it, that's it, we've got it. Right, now that's locked. Otherwise, when you try and tighten, uh, to do this, it's just gonna push it straight back up again and ignore you, and you'll never get it off. Right, now that's it, to do them clockwise, I haven't got the, the correct tool for this. Um, you need a special key to go in there and tap it, but it's only a thread, just to undo it. So, I'm going to use the old trick of a little cold chisel and a hammer and tap it until it turns. No. Now we jump in, we're jumping past. We're going past. That's all good. Rope's not thick enough. Try and find some thicker. Okay, here I've got some fire rope. 
Cap ne var? Fek cap. Şu türlü cap. Okay, try again. Come on, let's slow it. Here it comes. Here it comes, probably in pieces. Destroy it. Yeah, destroy it, get it off. Right. Yeah. Again, something else we could do. We're looking at later on, but it's. Done a lot of work as this. But it's not giving way yet, so we'll let it off. Right, turn that over, put it the way around. And now we put the new one back on. And then bit again, opposite way around. Now the one good thing about these is you don't need to worry about trying to tighten them. Because you can be sure that once the machine runs, it will tighten itself. Got it. Right. Lovely. Okay, that is it. Now, do whatever other servicing you want, but that is your clutch replaced. Now you just reassemble everything how it was and get back to work. Okay, there we are, one clutch change, all complete. Right, well there we are, back into use again, back into action, let's go out and get some work done. Um, nothing could be simpler, there you go. Okay, right, well, if you've got any questions, shove them in the bottom of the box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you like what I've done, hit that like button as well, I'd appreciate that. Otherwise, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Cook some juice. Mm-hmm.